Number 41, predict which compound in each of the following pairs of compounds is more acidic and explain your reasoning for each. Then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to figure out which one is more acidic, NH3 or H2O. All right, well, we got to kind of put a name, a general, you know, name to these types of acids, right? There's basically only two acids, binary or oxo acids. Binary acids is when you have a hydrogen and then you have one other element. You're only allowed to have two total and one has to be a hydrogen. Now, if we look at what's going on here, for NH3, I see that I have a hydrogen, right? And what happened to that X? There we go. I see that I have a hydrogen and then I have the other element, nitrogen. Same thing here, I have the hydrogen and I have another element, oxygen. It doesn't matter whether the hydrogen's in the back or the front, Generally, your hydrogens will be stated in the front, but sometimes they can be stated in the back. So these would be binary acids. It doesn't matter how many hydrogens you have. So it doesn't matter that this one you have three or two. The idea is that you just have an H and you have another element. So now we come over here. What's the trend for binary acidity? Well, as you go across a period, your acidity will increase. Now, when we do this trend, we don't care about where the hydrogens are because that's the same between the two compounds. So we will look at where nitrogen is and where oxygen is. On the periodic table, nitrogen comes first and then oxygen. As you go from left to right, you increase in acidity. So um, oxygen would be more acidic than nitrogen, according to the trend. So in this case... H2O would be more acidic. So that's kind of like a cool trend to memorize. It's the easy answer, but now you just have to explain the reasoning. The reasoning behind it comes from the electronegativities between the two. So nitrogen's here and oxygen's here. As you go also from left to right on the electronegativity scale, you also increase. And electronegativity is just basically how easy it is for an electron to become negative. And it turns out in these acids, right, when you lose that hydrogen, the remainder becomes negative. So the quickness of having that hydrogen being lost means that your acidity will increase. And remember, that's what acids do, right? Acids donate. Technically, they lose a hydrogen, right? So since oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, it's easier for the hydrogen attached to the, uh, it's easier for this hydrogen attached to the oxygen to leave, to be donated. So that's the reasoning. Oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. And because of that, the hydrogens are easier to be donated, making it a better acid. And just know that NH3 by itself is ammonia. Ammonia is more times than not classified as a base. So if this is classified as a base and H2O is neutral, this would be more acidic. Just as like another, you know, way to look at it. But that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Okay, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.